In this video, I'm going to show you several warm-ups that I do every day before I start my scale routine. First, I warm up my bow hand with an exercise I call windshield wipers. You'll hold the bow horizontally, and using predominantly your pinky with a little help from your wrist, you're going to push the bow up until it's vertical. Now, using your pinky muscles, allow the bow to slowly progress back to the horizontal position. It's normal if your pinky falls off if you're just starting this exercise, but as your pinky gains strength, it will be able to stay on the stick and exert more control over your bow, which is exactly what you want. Next, you're going to do two whole bows on every string. Go from the frog to the tip and back to the frog. They also offer a great opportunity to think about your breathing. Try to breathe out on the down bows and in on the up bows. Taking these long breaths will help you relax. Here's how it sounds. Now we're going to slur each of the open strings into one bow. Now the goal of this is to try to keep your bow speed even so that you spend the same amount of time on each open string. We'll do at least a down bow and an up bow, but you can do this repeatedly to try to get more and more comfortable with it. Here's how it sounds. Next, I do an exercise I call sloppy hands. The exercise is meant to help you relax the bow hand, the fingers, and the wrist, and the whole entire bow arm. Now, the goal of this exercise is not to sound good. In fact, if you do it correctly, you probably won't sound good at all. Put your bow on the string in the middle of the bow, and you're going to start the movement from the forearm. And the wrist and the fingers will be so relaxed that they're going to just follow along with that movement. You'll move your bow pretty quickly and let your wrist and fingers just follow along. Now you can think of your fingers and wrist as springs that are reacting to the movement of the forearm. And if you're afraid of dropping the bow during this exercise, just try holding it over a couch or a bed. Remember the goal is to be relaxed as possible. All right, here's what it sounds like. I would suggest doing this a lot more than just that till you really get your arm, your fingers, and your wrist to relax. Last of all, we're going to warm up the left hand with slides. With slides, we're going to put one finger down and keeping the form of your arm the exact same, you're going to slide up the whole arm. Now the note that you slide up to here doesn't matter. Just slide up until your wrist hits the bout of the violin, and then you're going to slide your hand back down. So pitches are not important here. What you're trying to do is just be relaxed with the left hand. You want to make sure you're not gripping or pressing anywhere with your left hand. Your thumb is relaxed and able to easily slide up and down. This is what it sounds like. This is what it looks like behind. Once I finish those five warm ups, then it's time to start working on scales. And if you need some ideas for better, more varied scale practice, I've got a scales course that will take you through six months to a year 
of guided scale practice with lots of variations so you never get bored practicing scales. And I'll put a link in the description below to that course. You can also try looking at this video or this video and head on over to meadowlarkviolin.com for a lot more free violin resources. I'm Laura from Meadowlark Violin. Happy practicing.